What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm bringing you guys another video today but it's not gonna be putting the wheels on. So everything I need to put the wheels on have finally turned up. Ooh, hello. These are gonna go on the 10.5J wheel and they are Nankang NS2 225-3518 so it's gonna be a bit of stretch but we love the stance life. And uh, <laughs> these turned up today these are proxies toyo proxies t1rs 205 35 18s and these are going on the front this is the package i'm quite excited about i'm quite excited to do all this but this is uh, quite exciting because this is the part that came from japan i'm not going to fit this today drop down in the comments below if you guys think you know what that is this is the arch roller it's finally turned up as you can see big pieces of metal in there so I'm not going to be mounting the tires today I'm going to be doing that tomorrow hopefully but today I'm going to be doing a ceramic coating on all four wheels I'm going to do two coats of ceramic coating and then maybe one or two coats of wax so you need to leave about an hour or two between coats so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to do the best I can because they are white wheels so they're going to be a pain in the ass to keep clean every day it shouldn't be a problem because the S2000 is more of a weekend and show car so it's not going to be driven every day I've got that little puppy outside a little MX-5 that is the workhorse so with that being said I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the process of ceramic coating your wheels this is not a sponsored video I'm just showing you guys what I went for this is the carbon collective platinum wheel set you get the the ceramic coat in the little bottle and some two foam applicator pads so it's pretty straightforward it's got the instructions on the back I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to show you guys the process so the first step is you get your wheel obviously and then you're just going to remove all of the dust on the surface. I've got some cleaner here. I've just sprayed it on a um, microfiber cloth and I'm just going to go around and clean off any dust, any dirt from the surface. The better the, the surface, the more likely you're going to get like a, a better adhesion with the ceramic coating and it's less likely to react. You just want a contaminant free finish. I will be ceramic coating the rear, the inner barrel too, inside, and um, inside the spokes here as well. So literally every square inch of this wheel is going to be protected. So it says in the back of this bottle to add three to four drops of the ceramic coating and then to wipe it all over the wheel and it's actually going to take about one to two minutes for the bonding time so after one or two minutes you want to go ahead and wipe off the residue straight away so oh that's more than three to four drops i've never done this before so Ooh. this is kind of fun and of course guys make sure that you're wearing um, some gloves for this I'm not sure if these ceramic coatings are actually good for bare skin, but uh, I wouldn't risk it, so... Um, I might actually uh, add a couple more drops, because... Uh, do I do it? Do I do it? Shall I do it? Shall I do it? You know what? We're going to send it. We're going to add a couple more. And grab my microfiber. Get a nice clean side. Kitty, no. <laughs> Cat's like so curious. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe all the residue off. It's quite hard to tell if this is working because it's white and I don't really know what I'm doing. Hopefully it works. I'm gonna leave each wheel to dry to cure for about two hours so that it leaves plenty of time for the ceramic coat to bond to the surface properly. So there you have it, a ceramic code wheel. Don't know if it's just me or does that look shinier than what it was before. Um, it looks good, because obviously it's clean, but uh, yeah, that was pretty straightforward. Like I said, I'm not gonna be, hello. I'm not gonna be filming the other three wheels because it's the same process. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you are interested, then I highly recommend you getting um, yourself some platinum wheel ceramic coating and coating your wheels so that when it comes to maintaining your wheels then it's uh, it's not a chore so 
there is carbon collective platinum wheels. So I was just speaking to one of my friends and they said that they might be able to mount the tires today. So that's really, really good news. So I'm gonna go ahead and ceramic coat the rest of the wheels so that it's ready for the tires. Just wanna say for the people that have been watching my videos for the past couple of months, or the OG subscribers, you might have noticed that I've changed my name from Ronnie B to DVLP Media. And the reason behind that is because I felt that DVLP Media is more professional looking because Ronnie B is just my Instagram username, so at the time I used that for my username for YouTube, but now I'm focusing more on my filmmaking and um, cinematography, I felt like that it was the right move. I used to run a clothing company called Develop, so I've incorporated my old brand into this new venture, DVLP Media, which is pretty much Develop Media. It's the same thing, but I'm not doing clothing anymore. It's more focused on automotive filmmaking and just cinematics and all the cool things like that. So I hope you guys can appreciate the, the name change if you guys like it or you like the way this channel is headed, then make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up. I really appreciate the support. It helps the channel a lot. It keeps me motivated to be putting out more content for you guys. I feel like I've um, really, really slipped on making these videos lately and I've just watched all like the other vlogs ages ago. And uh, yeah, it didn't really make sense because I was like building the mini and then next thing you know, I sold the mini and then I built the following from the mini, but now I've got a new car. So I know it's all like confusing and stuff. I've been really enjoying building the S2000 so far and doing the cinematography. So I hope you guys like all the dope content. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and ceramic coat the wheels now. You comfy there, mate? You just chilling? Comfy? You know what you're doing. Is that, is that comfy? Is that a bed? <laughs> I'm only joking. Love you. After like half an hour, I finally ceramic coated every single wheel so they're all ready to go. They're curing, they're bonding, they're doing their thing, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> so that, I've got to leave that for about one or two hours. I've got to decide whether to mount the tires today or just wait till tomorrow. Um, I'm very impatient, but uh, I feel like I might wait till tomorrow, I might do it now, meh, who knows, but um, I can't fit them on the car anyway because obviously the arches haven't been rolled just yet, so I don't know how I'm going to do that because uh, I don't have an electrical socket out there because my, uh, my car is parked all the way out there somewhere and um, yeah, there's no socket, so I'm going to have to uh, think about how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet. This video was pretty much just me showing you guys how to ceramic coat your wheels and why you do it. Um, show you the tires, the arch roller, and that secret Japan package, whatever that is. Remember, drop down in the comment below what you think that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.